Hey, I'm Billy Drain from Miller Industries, and today we're going to talk about power wrapping your wire rope. Power wrapping wire rope is basically winding your wire rope on the winch cable drum under a load. This is something that should be done from car carriers all the way up to your heavy duty recovery vehicles. This is something that's very important because if you don't power wrap the winch drums, what can tend to happen is that the loose wire rope going around that drum, those top layers want to bury down into the, the inner layers. In this case, we're using the Vulcan, another Vulcan V30 that we're power wrapping on the, the other V30, but you can use something else, a forklift in the yard, another heavy piece of machinery or a dead man in order to do this. So the first thing we want to do is free spool both of the winches. That way, in case somebody accidentally hits the wrong handle, we're not going to be moving that, that wire rope in on the winch that we're not paying attention to. Then we want to check the air pressure. We want to make sure the air pressure on those cable tensioners is somewhere in that 60 to 80 range, just depending on how much pressure you want on that winch tensioner drum. So now what we're going to have happen is we're going to let that other truck pull away. We have that, that winch free spooled. He's going to be pulling that out and I'm going to be watching him in the mirror and then watching this drum at the same time. As we pull off that wire rope on the drum, we want to keep uh, at least seven wraps on that last layer so that we don't pull all of the wire rope out of the drum. That would create quite a mess and, and we'd have to go back and put it in. So as he pulls all that wire rope off the drum down to that last seven layers, then we're going to go ahead and engage the winch. So we're going to take it off free spool here. And then we're going to engage the winch with the control. We're going to go out for a second, come in for a second, making sure that those, those gears lock in with each other. Go in and tighten it up. And then we'll actually have the operator of the other truck tighten up that, that wire rope so that we can begin winching him back. So once we get him tight at the other end of the wire rope, we're going to start uh, winching him in. He's going to simply hold his foot on the brake, uh, keep that cable tight as we go ahead and, and winch him all the way back to the truck. Just remember when you're doing this, especially if you're using another truck instead of a dead man, uh, that you keep good eye contact and have good communication with that other operator for safety purposes. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our news feed on our website to get all the latest tips and tricks from Miller Industries. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.